I'll be showing you step-by-step step how to connect your Facebook or Metapixel from your Shopify store. We're not gonna do anything related to code as well, and we're gonna be using Shopify's recommended way to set this up. So from our Shopify dashboard, we need to go and add in the Facebook slash Instagram sales channel, and that's gonna let us set up our Pixel. So from the left-hand side menu, we can see under sales channels, we don't have the Facebook or Meta app installed, so it's not gonna show up. So in the search bar in the top here, I'm just gonna search for Facebook. And I wanna go down to search for Facebook in the Shopify app store. Clicking on this will open up a new link. And this is gonna be the Shopify app store directly. And we're gonna install the Facebook and Instagram official app here. So clicking on this, we can see it's free to install and it's developed by Meta directly. And from there, I'm gonna click install again. This is going to load the install app screen if you're comfortable with the permissions hit install again. And I'm gonna pin this app now on the left-hand side and it's gonna stay under my sales channels. So for this video, we're just focused on setting up the pixel as well, not the Facebook shop. If I scroll down to the bottom under ads only, I'm gonna go down to the get started button and it's gonna ask us to set up our ads on Facebook and Instagram by connecting our account. So first I'm going to click connect account. It's telling me I've previously logged in. So I'm gonna hit continue as me. So I've now connected my Facebook account and I can see the different accounts here under my profile. This is going to change depending on your Facebook profile. So I'm going to connect one of my profiles here. Clicking the connect button It's gonna ask us for our data sharing preferences. So there are three types. The first one is conservative. So get some ad performance and customer targeting improvements, but prioritizing sharing less data. So this setting uses just the Metapixel, which is a third party cookie that collects and shares customers browsing behavior on your store. But to note about this one, ad blockers can block the pixel from collecting data. For enhanced, it's also gonna add in advanced matching and the conversion API from Facebook. And at maximum, this is gonna give you the best possible results. And this setting is continually updated with Facebook's latest advertising technology, sharing the most data with Facebook. So it's gonna add in the Metapixel, advanced matching and conversion API. You can also view the details here on all the information that is shared. Now for you, this is gonna depend on where your store is located, the privacy policy that you created. But for the purposes of this video, I'm just gonna click enhanced and then click save. Next is going to ask us to connect a pixel. If you don't have a pixel set up, I would just create a new one here. But for me, because I have an existing pixel, I'm just gonna click connect. Creating a pixel should also just take a few seconds. Lastly, I just want to agree to the product catalog and then I can submit for review. And once you hit the submit for review button, it's going to install the Meta or Facebook Pixel on your Shopify store. I'm not gonna do it here because it is a test store, but I have done this before and this is the final step. And you should now have your Facebook Pixel set up on your Shopify store. If you've made any sales on Shopify, you know how hard it is to keep track of how much profit your store has actually made. You have your cost of goods sold, your ad spend from Facebook, Google, Snapchat, Bing, Pinterest, and TikTok. You have your transaction fees, your refunds, your app expenses. These are all things you need to track manually, and that can be a very tedious and time-consuming process. But that's where our sponsor Profit Calc comes in. It's the one-click profit calculator available for your Shopify store. Once it's set up, all you have to do is select the date range you're looking for to get real-time calculations along with tons of different metrics and analytics so you can truly understand your Shopify store's performance. There's a link in the description below where you can get a 15-day free trial or you can find it directly on the Shopify app store by searching Profit Calc and then looking for this logo in the top left. So this concludes the video here on how to connect your Facebook pixel to your Shopify store. They've made it super easy with the Facebook and Instagram app and no longer do you need to worry about adding it manually through a piece of code. This is also essential as well as if you select one of the higher data sharing options, it's going to connect the conversion API as well as advanced matching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and subscribe below. If you have any questions, leave a comment and I come up with new Shopify tutorials all the time and you don't want to miss out. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.